Congratulations to Alpha Omega graduate chapter here in Cleveland on your 100th anniversary. You know, 100 years is a long time uh, and, uh, and longevity is only meaningful if you do something in that time. The history is what it is and, and as we continue to uh, do things and we continue to uh, make progress, there are still those basic needs and those gaps uh, that people have that need to be serviced. And, and your organization has done that, not only with children, uh, but also with seniors and, and even young adults who are in need of help, particularly in education. Alpha Omega was founded as Ada Chapter on the campus of Western Reserve University. Ada Chapter later became Alpha Omega Chapter when the sorority stipulated that graduate chapters had to have Omega in their name. The chapter was officially chartered on December 1, 1917, making it the first graduate chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. As our chapter centennial celebration culminates, I would like to salute Alpha Omega on 100 years. We kicked off our centennial celebration by hosting a premiere showing of Hidden Figures and a forum at the City Club of Cleveland featuring Dr. Dorothy Buchanan Wilson, the 29th International President of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. A special highlight of our centennial was donating $10,000 to support the mission of MOTEP the Minority Organ and Tissue Transplant Education Program, and our centennial gift to provide GAP scholarships for college-bound Cleveland Metropolitan School District students. From the Founders Day public meeting to the amazing AKA 5K Walk Run event, this has been an exciting year, and I am truly honored to have had this opportunity to serve as chapter president during Alpha Omega Centennial Year. 100 years have passed since the founding of Alpha Omega Chapter by a group of college women residing in Cleveland, Ohio. Through the years, the ideals and aspirations of the women of Alpha Omega Chapter have built a strong legacy of timeless service locally, regionally, and internationally. From Alpha Omega's early focus on providing vocational guidance to students, the chapter has continued to expand its service to the youth in our community. Literacy and scholarship are core to Alpha Omega's focus. Salute to Excellence, Bachelor Boys, and Leadership Academy, now known as Ascend, are just a few of the signature programs established by Alpha Omega. I was president of the chapter when Leadership Academy was initiated as part of our Diamond Jubilee celebration. It is a program for area high school students that focuses on leadership and personal development. Alpha Omega has provided vocational guidance and served thousands of students over the past 100 years, staying true to our chapter's motto not for ourselves, but for others. As early as 1928, Alpha Omega Chapter had a desire to assist with housing in the community. The, the needs n never change. Uh, and, and many, um, and the providers sometimes of those uh, that service those needs do change now and then, but Alpha Omega has been pretty consistent in what they're doing. One of the needs is in the senior housing, quality housing, safe housing for seniors. And uh, we did partnership with your organization that in, I think, to the tune of $3.5 million in us sponsoring a HUD grant for that purpose to develop uh, Ivy Plaza. Health and Human Services also became a major initiative. For example, in the 1940s and 1950s, Alpha Omega members volunteered in the Mississippi Health Project and became the first African American group to be members of the Mental Health Council of Cleveland. Decades later, the commitment by the chapter to Health and Human Services continues. The community partnerships that Alpha Omega have established over the years have been key. 
Our chapter has been able to make significant impact thanks to relationships with organizations like the American Heart Association and our Pinko's Red Initiative, the National Alliance on Mental Illness, also known as NAMI, and the National Alzheimer's Association, as well as MOTEP, which is the Minority Organ and Tissue Transplant Education Program. And this is just a few of our community partnerships. Alpha Omega has truly been a trailblazer, bringing important issues to the forefront. In fact, we proactively engage the public, and we have educated our community through countless activities and events, as well as provided financial support. I am truly proud to know that Alpha Omega Chapter has stayed true to our sorority's mission and is committed to providing servant leadership and purpose-driven service for the next century. Members of Alpha Omega have distinguished themselves on the national, regional, and local levels in prominent positions including International President, International First Vice President, Great Lakes Regional Director, and Director of the Cleveland Job Corps. Alpha Omega Chapter is a chapter of first. We are the first graduate chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, the first within the sorority to establish a scholarship fund, and the first African American group to be accepted as members of the Mental Health Council of Cleveland. Alpha Omega is credited with ensuring the successful operation of the Cleveland Job Corps when Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated became the first African American organization to be awarded a management contract from the U.S. Department of Labor. Starting with that small group of college women on the campus of Western Reserve University, Alpha Omega members understand the importance of providing leadership in our community. And every member has ample reason to be proud of Alpha Omega's 100-year legacy of service to all mankind. Omega Chapter was founded in December of 1925 with undergraduate students from Cleveland, Mather and Oberlin Colleges. Alpha Omega and Omega Chapters have worked together in harmony through the years. The mentorship from Alpha Omega is truly, truly amazing. The leadership within that chapter is truly amazing. So my genuine hope is just that our relationship continues to grow. And as undergraduates, we need that support and we need that mentorship. So just for our relationship to grow even more than it already has. And I just wish Alpha Omega the best on another 100 years and forever, really, because I know they'll be here for lifetimes. So, so I wish them the best and Omega Chapter will always be here ready to learn from them. On behalf of the Omega Chapter, we just want to say congratulations to Alpha Omega on your centennial, and we wish you a hundred more years of sisterhood, scholarship, and service. Sisterhood is a bond we share for AKA. We know it's always there. It's a, just a good feeling. And then you have close friends in the sorority who have daughters who are Alpha Kappa Alpha women. And uh, you, it's like a sisterhood within a sisterhood. And it, it's a wonderful thing. In my lifetime, I really have only affiliated with two things permanently. The first one was my church and the second one was Alpha Kappa Alpha. Say congratulations to all my sowers in Alpha Omega Chapter. Congratulations on your perseverance. Congratulations on your willingness to serve. And congratulations on surviving for 100 years. And best wishes for continued growth and development and achievement and upholding the ideals on which our sorority was founded. Represent the Alpha